Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily Podcast. Coming up, a study claims that toxic metals have been found in tampons. Now, let's get into it. The most complete dinosaur in a century has been unearthed in the Isle of Wight, and analysis has found it's a new species that roamed the Earth around 125 million years ago. It's been named Comptonatus chasei, in tribute to the late fossil hunter Nick Chase, who made the discovery back in 2013. Since then, extensive work has gone into excavating, cleaning and analysing the 149 bones. One of the major parts of the work I was doing was to look at diversity, but look at intraspecific variation in all the bones that were in, in, in major museums, and we started really reassessing uh, a lot of material that had previously been um, categorized as being from Mantellisaurus atherfieldensis, which was a almost complete dinosaur that was found in 1914. So a hundred years had gone by uh, and then didn't seem to be any changes. That's Dr. Jeremy Lockwood, researcher with the University of Portsmouth and the Natural History Museum in London, who worked on the study. And when we started looking really closely at these bones, we started to find that there were very significant differences between these animals and Mantellisaurus atherfieldensis. So the first one was Brystonius simonsi, which was a, a bulbous-nosed dinosaur, but an iguanodontian. And more recently, we're publishing on, on Comptonatus um, chasei, um, which has uh, also got very distinct differences between Mantellisaurus. Comptonatus chasei belongs to a group of herbivorous dinosaurs known as Iguanodontians, which are large, bulky creatures that are often described as the cows of the Cretaceous period, which was around 145 to 66 million years ago. Dr Lockwood says that getting so much of one creature at once is incredibly significant for the scientific community. Most dinosaurs that are described are from quite fragmentary material. So there's a lot of iguanodontians described around the world, but some of them are based on you know, a, a jaw or just a very few bones. So it's scientifically really important to be able to put a whole animal together and look at all the differences within that animal and know that we can place them all with a single species. The findings also pose more questions for paleontologists to try and find the answers to. It's showing that there is diversity and that's generating new questions because we're not sure whether the diversity, so we've gone from having medium one ton sized um, iguanodontians on the island to having one, we've gone up to three now and, and we think very soon we might have more than that. We need to know, are these different animals evolving or are they just different species that are moving into the area or indeed were there you know many species living together at the same time so that's the next big question that we want to find an answer now six cinq quatre trois deux un top allumage deux SR décollage the sound of Europe's newest rocket, Ariane 6, successfully blasting off on its historic maiden voyage. Developed at a cost of 4 billion euros, the European Space Agency's new rocket set off at about 7pm UK time yesterday, with the aim of restoring the continent's independent access to space. Unlike some of the recent American rockets, the Ariane 6 is expendable, and a new one is needed for every mission. The rocket will take payloads into orbit more cheaply than its predecessor, Ariane 5, and ESA is expecting to make up to 11 launches a year. A study claims that arsenic, lead and other toxic metals have been found in tampons. Researchers from the University of California, Berkeley, examined 30 tampons from 14 different brands and found all 16 metals they were testing for in each type. Findings of metal levels varied depending on whether the tampons were sold in the US, UK or EU, whether they were organic or not, and whether they were branded or supermarket lines. The team say that the results are of particular concern as the skin of the vagina has a higher potential for absorbing chemicals than other parts of the body, and they're calling for further studies to understand the potential side effects. Some estimates suggest that half of people who menstruate use tampons on a monthly basis, sometimes for several hours at a time. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, move over Miss Congeniality, the first Miss AI has been crowned. Welcome back. 
a protection perimeter around one of the world's greatest shipwrecks is being widened. Endurance sank in 1915, during an ill-fated Antarctic expedition led by celebrated polar explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton. The protected zone around the vessel, which is located 3,000 metres down in the Weddell Sea, will now go from a radius of 500 metres to 1,500 metres and further limit activities nearby. The measure is part of a newly published conservation management plan. Archaeologists have given Britain's oldest chalk figure a bit of a facelift. Work has been carried out to restore the head and neck profile of the 3,000-year-old Uffington White Horse in Oxfordshire. Surveys have shown that parts of the chalk horse carved into the hillside have narrowed to less than half its typical width over time, as grass has encroached and topsoil slipped. Now archaeologists from the National Trust and Oxford Archaeology have returned the 364-foot horse, which dates from the Bronze Age, to its typical profile by carefully cutting the encroaching turf back to the estimated original edge and redistributing some of the top layer of the chalk on the figure. And finally, she's beauty and she's grace, she's Miss Artificial Intelligence. The winner of the world's first and very controversial Miss AI contest has been crowned. Around 1,500 AI creators entered the awards from territories including America, Africa, South America, India, Japan, China, South Korea and Europe. But it was Ken Zalele from Morocco who took the crown, and with it a total prize package worth more than $20,000. Kenza accepted her award with an AI-generated speech where she emphasised her belief in AI helping improve lives. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Standard Podcast for all the latest news and analysis. Tech and Science Daily will be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.